Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing another tier list for Killing Floor 2. This is going to be for Firebug's weapons because Firebug got a new DLC weapon. Or actually no, a new HRG weapon. So it's free for everybody, which is great. It's even better than the DLC weapons. This weapon is a tier 4 weapon. This is the Dragon's Blaze. It has a weird price point at 1400 dosh, but let's start at the beginning and then work our way up to that. So first up we have our starting weapon being the Cock and Burn. And the Cock and Burn is pretty good. The Cock and Burn is great, at least once you have levels for Firebug. Firebug is very dependent on levels as opposed to just equipment. You get much, much better the higher leveled up your Firebug is. And if you have Ground Fire with the Cock and Burn, you are good to go. You are great for the first couple rounds. You can actually use this for basically the whole game if you just want to kill small and medium stuff. It's not way great against big things. It's not good against flush pounds or scrakes and stuff, but it, it's actually really good against everything else. So it starts out very high up, probably up into A tier, but it does tend to fall off later and you don't want to throw upgrades into the cock and burn at all. It does not scale very well with upgrades. It has such a low amount of damage that each upgrade gets it like one more point of damage and it's just not worth it at that point because the ground fire is just doing so much more. So it, it tends to fall off, so I'm going to put it into B tier. I think that's okay for a medium spot. Um, starts out much higher, though. The first couple waves, it's like S tier, um, but then falls down to maybe like C tier-ish once you have some upgrades into it. It's a, weight is a little bit awkward, too, at 5, at least considering some of the other uh, firebug options that you got. If you had options like SWAT, I think it would be fine. And then we've got the knife. Knife is going to go to D tier. You're only going to use the knife once you're completely out of ammo with everything with Firebug. You don't get any bonuses with it, so you're going to use it to block and parry and to kill things if you're completely out of bullets. 9mm is kind of the same way. You're going to use it if you're completely out of ammo with your primary or your secondary or both. And that's it. Uh, maybe if you're taking like the cock and burn and the flamethrower and you're using it for range, it might be of some use there. But even then, it's still not going to be like a super optimal option. So it's okay. Molotov is one of the better throwables right now. Um, I'm going to put it up into A tier, at least once you have ground fire. If you don't have ground fire and you're not high level with firebug, I'd say it's much worse. It's probably B or C tier. It's probably C tier when you start out. It's probably one of the weaker grenades. Not because it's super weak, but it's so easy to burn yourself with and to injure yourself. That's just not a great thing, especially for newer players. So it gets better the more you go on, especially once you become fireproof and you add the floor fire to where you can deal tons of damage with it and you can just throw it at your own feet and not worry about just killing yourself accidentally. The single Spitfire is probably like C tier. I don't really use the single Spitfire. I think it's fine. It's low weight. It's decent if you don't have that much money, especially if you die early on. It's a decent option to grab. It gives you some range. It's good with the floor fire. It's good with uh, like double the ammo capacity. It's kind of nice to have 12 shots of this thing. You can shoot it quick and it scales actually pretty well with upgrades. The dual Spitfires I think are a lot better. They're probably up into A tier. They are great for clearing up small things. They're great in Z time if you have Pyromaniac because you can just keep spamming them. Maybe not the best, but still really fun to use. And uh, they scale well with upgrades. So yeah, just fairly solid overall. I think the first upgrade doesn't add any weight too for these. Pretty sure it doesn't with these ones. The Dragon's Breath is up next, and the Trench Gun is its probably going to go up to S tier. It's really good, especially for the price. It does good damage per shot. It's on the lower end for shotguns. That doesn't really matter because the fire will make up for that, especially if you have ground fire. It's going to make up a lot of damage there. It holds a decent amount of shots. The only kind of downside with it is it's slow reload, which isn't even that bad. And it does go well with upgrades. You actually get a decent amount of uh, damage every time you upgrade it. Again, not as much as some shotguns. Then we've got the HRG Scorcher, another very solid weapon. It's really, really good. Uh, I think I'm going to put this one up high into A tier. It does decent damage with its primary fire. Its secondary fire is really good for floor fires, and it's really great for holding off an area. It's good on some of the bosses like Matriarch. It's really strong against her, and it doesn't weigh that much. It also doesn't cost that much. It's a tier three, but it only costs a thousand. It's kind of a weird one, similar to like the MAC-10, which we're going to talk about next. And the MAC-10 is honestly not super great with Firebug. It's probably like C tier. It's okay because it doesn't weigh that much and its sights are fine. Its ammo capacity is fine. All, everything about it is pretty much fine. It just it doesn't start floor fires, which is one of Firebug's strongest things. And it, it's good in Z time when you have Pyromaniac going, but so is basically everything else that Firebug has. Up next we have the Flamethrower, and the Flamethrower is pretty much on par with the Cock and Burn in my opinion. Maybe a little bit less because it's it's again a weapon that doesn't scale well with upgrades it's got a decent capacity it's got decent reach it's good for killing small stuff but it is kind of awkward for fighting big things and it does come in at an awkward weight of eight you have some other options that you could pair this with and then that's fine but uh, it used to be really strong on firebug but ever since firebug's got better and better weapons i think the flamethrower is just kind of 
fallen down in terms of usefulness. The uh, incinerary rifle is also really good. Incinerary rifle, I think I would also put up into A tier. This is just the fire M16. It's like the same stat line entirely as the M16, except for I think the grenades are a little bit different and they cause uh, floor fire, which lets you deal more damage over time. Uh, sights are the same. Rate of fire is the same. Damage, I think, is the same. Plus, it has fire damage on top of it. Very good. The M16 is already a fantastic assault rifle. Uh, giving this to Firebug is also fantastic. It's great in Z time because you could just spam grenades if you want, or you can just constantly hold down the trigger with the assault rifle and you'll clear up basically everything, again, if you have Pyromaniac. Then we have the new weapon with the Dragon's Blaze coming in at 1400. This comes in at 708 too, which I'm surprised didn't get changed at all. That's nice. Uh, it is kind of an awkward weight, and um, it's a little bit of an awkward weapon in general because of the way that it fires. The way you fire this is either the primary fire or the secondary fire, and the secondary fire doesn't fire out all the barrels like the regular Doomstick. Secondary fire fires out in a horizontal pattern, I'm pretty sure. And then the primary fire fires out in a vertical pattern. So it's a little bit weird to be firing this. It is really, really good in Z time with Pyromaniac though. It does a surprising amount of damage per second, covers the entire floor in fire. Maybe not as effective as some weapons like the Thermite Boar, but the Thermite Boar is kind of crazy anyway. So I think I'd put this one also up into high A tier, maybe into S tier. I don't know if it's as useful as like the Trench Gun. The Trench Gun's also really good, but it's also very cheap which makes it potentially even better. Microwave gun's up next, and the microwave gun has always been awkward to me. It's it's always kind of been an awkward gun in general because it's probably the weapon that's been changed the most throughout Killing Floor 2, where it's either been overperforming or underperforming. There's almost never like a middle ground where it's doing okay. Every time it gets buffed, you just get so much stronger against all the big enemies and against bosses because basically all of them are weak to microwave damage. And then every time it gets nerfed, it's not as useful as some of the other weapons because it's okay at killing small stuff and then kind of okay at killing big stuff as well or it's just not the best choice for either one of those. I still think I'm going to put it into the low end of A tier. It's either low end of A tier, high end of B tier. It does come in at a heavy weight at 9. It can be upgraded to 10 but um, it also counts as explosive damage not only microwave damage at least with its secondary fire so it can work well against flesh pounds and that's kind of the, the thing is it can work really well against flesh pounds, strikes, bosses, you just have to be right up next to them. Firebug's kind of squishy. For me, the, the microwave gun's never really been like one of my favorite weapons, mostly because it's just like, it's changed so much. Husk Cannon's up next. Husk Cannon is really good with Firebug. You can charge this up. You can fire it with heavy shots or you can fire it just spam fire. And it's a pretty decent weapon overall. It does explosive damage as well as fire damage. It can cause floor fires. It's really good with Pyromaniac because you can spam it like crazy during Zed time. So another pretty solid weapon for Firebug, I think like high up into A tier. Uh, maybe bordering on S tier. It's really good against bosses. It's really strong on boss wave, especially if you get like King Fleshbound, then you can just keep spamming this at him. Then we have the Thermite Boar, the DLC weapon. This one's pretty crazy. This one's going high up into S tier. This one's arguably one of Firebug's best weapons. This one weighs seven, so it doesn't even weigh that much. It's just the seal squeal for Firebug, but fires out fire harpoons, which is even better because you can cover such a large area in fire and just kill up all the small and bigger enemies. Basically, the only thing that it's not way great against is like Scrakes, and even then it's okay because it does do decent damage with just the harpoon itself. Everything else you're going to kill very, very quick. Then we have the Helios Rifle, which is our only tier 5. This one's also going to go up into S tier. This one is fantastic on Firebug. Gets you microwave damage. It's basically combining the Fire M16 with the microwave gun and just having the best of both of those. It holds a decent amount of shots, it does good damage, it does microwave damage. It can't cause floor fire, which I guess is one of the downsides to it, but this weapon really doesn't need it, because it does enough damage per shot um, that you don't really care about the extra floor fire. So another very, very solid weapon for Firebug. And as you can kind of see, Firebug is actually pretty well spread out on uh, weapons, having a lot of their weapons go to the higher end. There's not a whole lot of bad choices with Firebug, the only ones that kind of stand out to me are like a single Spitfire, which is fine if you just have the weight to carry it or if you're just getting it early on, but I think two are a lot better. And then the MAC-10 just kind of underperforming. It used to be pretty strong on uh, both Firebug and SWAT when it was bugged and counted as shotgun damage. Then it was actually a pretty good weapon, which I don't know why they don't give it back. It would give it something unique and maybe give it kind of a niche. Maybe not so much with Firebug since you have two other shotguns to pick from, but 
at least with SWAT, it would be something unique. That'll do the tier list for Firebug. Tell me your thoughts on Firebug's weapons. Where would you put the new Dragon's Blaze? How are you liking it so far? And thank you guys also very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube, patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos just like this. If you'd like to be a part of it, there are links in the description. Thanks, everybody. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.